Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a shelf with some flowers, books and a bowl on top of it. And for the materials I'll be using all the materials I used also for my previous paintings, illustrations and all of them are listed in the description box. So if you want to check something out you can find it there. First I'm starting with my sketch and I drew a shelf. It's going to be quite a thick shelf. And on top I'm drawing a pot in which I will place some flowers. So for now I won't be painting flowers, I'm just gonna put in the pot and later on when I start inking I will be adding flowers on top. I drew two books and now use the washi tape to draw the circle for my clock and also draw in a simple, quite simple ball. Now, I'm starting with inking and as you can see I started with flowers. I did not ink the pot first because I was planning to go on top of my of the pot with the flowers so I wanted to put in first the flowers and for them I just did circles very very simple and then few branches on top. For the first round of sketching of inking I'm just doing the basic inking. Later on I will be adding details and I guess well all of those you can just make it look like the, the way you wanted the books and the ball it doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine and now when I did finish with the basic sketch I'm just adding a bit more of the details first to the ball then to the pot some shading cross hatching there just where I think the shadows are gonna be and well, I guess the darker parts. And this time inking will be more or less quite simple. And I also decided to add a little bit more of the details to the shelf just to make it look like it's a wooden shelf, adding those little, I guess, knots on the, on the wood. When I was happy with the inking, I mixed in a little bit of the leaf orange and some black to create this, I guess, brownish tone and painted in the shelf. I also did want to make it bleed slightly outside the edges of my shelf, so I've added a little bit of the water on the sides, actually beneath the shelf, just to help the paint bleed there. For the pot I'm using leaf orange and soft brown for the shadows and for books, for the book I used yellow, sweet yellow and then also a little bit of that brown mix for the shadows, clock is orange and for the flowers you can see I'm just using green and I'm tapping in with my brush. I'm not painting every single, I guess, a leaf and every single flower. I'm just tapping in and then added some splatters with yellow also and with green just to make it slightly more looser. For the bowl, I used first, for the first layer, I used a brownish tone and then I left it to dry and on top I've added some pink. It created nice layers and just added a bit more to that paint, just made it look a little bit more deeper and richer. In most of the parts for the shadows I am using soft brown mixed in with black and also I decided to add a few splatters with pink and few splatters with black and when it all dried I was just looking if I want to add a little bit more of the pigment somewhere because you know when the paint dries it becomes lighter and maybe mold more dull so I wanted to add a little bit more of the paint in some parts and also a little bit more of the inking which was now covered with my paint. And with this Posca pen, white Posca pen with a fine tip I just added a couple of more highlights on the ball on my flowers and where I thought it would look nice. And with that I'll be finishing off this illustration and this video quite simple again enough. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. Also, all those videos for the Inktober are available in real time for my channel members. If you want to find out a little bit more about the membership, there is a link in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!